Hello, and welcome to another edition of History with Mr. Mink. And today, we're going to learn about five celebrities with important historical ancestors. Here we go! Celebrities seem to live in a different world than us common folk. They seem to have it all. Money, big houses, fame, age-altering medical procedures. Life's not fair. And as you're getting ready to find out, some, however, really do have royalty in their blood. Here are five celebrities with important historical ancestors. Number one, Beyonce. Oh. Beyonce has cemented herself as a music and cultural icon with an estimated net worth of 400 million 400 million 400 million it's safe to say she has the funds of a royal, but she's also the 25th cousin to Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II is the current queen of the United Kingdom and has been since 1952. Her 68-year reign is the longest reign for a monarch in British history. Seems like Queen Bee was destined for a long reign at the top. Finally, you put my hand on top. With a total of 10 number one hits, her songs have spent almost 200 weeks on the Billboard's Hot 100. She is one of the best-selling artists of all time. Number two, Johnny Depp. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello! Johnny Depp has arguably played some of the most notable characters in movie history. While he has never won an Oscar, he's been nominated by the Academy Awards three times. Notable characters include Jack Sparrow, Sweeney Todd, Edward Scissorhands, Willy Wonka, John Dillinger, Gellert Grindelwald, and Whitey Bulger. So who is his famous relative? Well, from the Department of Redundancy Department, he is the 20th cousin to none other than Queen Elizabeth II. Number three, Tom Hanks. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Life may be like a box of chocolates, but Tom Hanks movies are like a snicker bar. You know it's going to be awesome every time. Hanks has won two Academy Awards and been nominated for six. He has been the leading man in some of Hollywood's most memorable movies, and trying to name them all would simply just dragnet this video on. <laughs> Some of my personal favorites, though, are Forrest Gump, Toy Story, Saving Private Ryan, Castaway, The Burbs. <laughs> With a net worth of $350 million, it's safe to say he is all around Hollywood royalty. So who is his important relative? The 16th President of the United States. Abraham Lincoln. The first president to be assassinated, Abraham Lincoln saw the United States through the Civil War and is revered as one of the best and most popular presidents of all time. Oh, Tom Hanks is also related to 31st President Herbert Hoover, and you guessed it, Queen Elizabeth II. Some people are just in a league of their own. <laughs> Got him! Number four, Sarah Jessica Parker. Best known for playing Carrie Bradshaw on the TV show Sex and the City, the character has been recognized as one of the best female characters in the history of American TV. Her role in the movie Hocus Pocus, though, is eerie when you consider one of her ancestors. Let me explain. In the movie Hocus Pocus, a kid moves to Salem, Massachusetts, where the famed Salem witch trials were held between 1692 and 1693. He awakens three evil witches, and one of them is played by Sarah Jessica Parker. <gasps> So what's the big deal? Sarah Jessica Parker's important ancestor is her 10th great-grandmother, Esther Elwell. Who? Okay, so maybe not super important. Maybe interesting is a better word for this. But Esther Elwell is the last woman formally arrested during the Salem Witch Trials. During the course of the Salem Witch Trials, people freaked out and thought witches were real. So like you do, they started arresting tons of people on baseless accusations. Around 200 people were accused and 19 people were hanged. No one was actually burned at the stake. Luckily for Esther, the witch court was dissolved shortly after her arrest. Probably because they realized how dumb it was. And she never faced a trial. I wonder if Sarah thought of Esther while filming. I'll say it's a to our last and final celebrity, number five, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep holds the record for the most Academy Award nominations at 21. 21, that's crazy. She has won three times, and only five actors have accomplished that feat. She has been a force in Hollywood over the last six decades, appearing in movies such as Kramer vs. Kramer, Sophie's Choice, The Devil Wears Prada, and The Iron Lady. We will stand on principle. Or we will not stand at all. So who is her important ancestor? She is the second cousin, seven times twice removed, of the founder of Pennsylvania, William Penn. Penn was arrested several times in England for practicing his religious beliefs. He was a Quaker, and they were persecuted at an alarming rate in the late 1600s. Luckily for Penn, his family was rich. That never hurts. King Charles II actually had a large loan out with his father, and when his father died, the king settled the debt by giving him a chunk of land that's now Pennsylvania. Even though it was still technically oversought by the king, Penn drafted principles such as freedom of religion, fair trials, and elected officials in the province. Many of his principles were actually used as a springboard for the U.S. Constitution. I'm sure Meryl Streep is proud of this long-distance cousin. That's it for this video. In the description below, I have links to previous videos I've done as well as my Twitter. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and if you have subscribed, you can click that bell next to it and you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.